Hi, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Uh, well, so last vlog I was talking about all the, uh, job interviews I had. Is that four in two days, I think. How many were there? Yeah, yeah, four. And yeah, I ended up getting one. So that's good. It was the gas station job. Uh, which was my second choice. My first one uh, was the 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 uh, job at the dog kennel. Speaking of dogs, there's one right over there. If you can see, yeah, right there. <laughs> but uh, I never heard back from them. Uh, I did hear back from the. Two other jobs, the uh, sporting goods store and the uh, ice rink job. I think I might have forgot to mention that one in my last video, but it was just a job at the at the uh, the skating rink. Uh, There it was a plane, <laughs> and it was just working in the the uh, pro shop. They call it, it was selling, uh, uh, s s selling stuff. And stupid plane. Uh, there's been so many fires out here in the West that that's probably, uh, a fire, firefighting jet. But, uh, those two jobs, uh, the, the ice shrink one was just labeled as temporary, rarely, so I, so they would cap my hours at 20 hours a week which isn't what I was looking for and the sporting goods job that was the f furthest one from my house and it, that was just a cashier job which uh, which is now my new job at the gas station and it's really close to my house I can walk to it uh, easily, uh, but uh, of course, you know, I'm looking for a, another place to live, so I won't be as close to my job as I am now, <laughs> of course. Uh, but. I'm still gonna be working uh full full time it looks like which will actually be my first full time paying job uh, I'm probably gonna be working the ten a m to six p m shift uh doing cashier and stocking and uh, other stuff. So, pr pretty easy, and and the pay is actually more than my current job, which is really nice. And uh, I'm gonna be leaving my pizza job because uh, I don't need it anymore. It's just two days a week. And this one will probably be five days a week. Or my, my boss said that if he has enough people working on the schedule, uh, he can have everyone work 10 hours a day. 
Monday through Thursday, and then everyone gets Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Uh, which, which that sounds really great. Because uh, he explained it uh, that way, the shifts will overlap, and and then uh, other the people coming in can help out the the people going out and get more stuff done. So, yeah, that that that's gonna be really nice. And, uh, and then th this week I'm doing training, uh, which is basically just watching videos and PowerPoint presentations on the computer and then answering questions later. But there's, there's a lot of training stuff to go through. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that Monday through Thursday and then Friday and Saturday I'm working my last two days at the pizza place, then be finished with that job. So, uh, that's all the good news so far. But the bad news is that Earlier this month, uh, we found out that one of my aunts has been diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, uh, which came as a shock to everyone, including the aunt. Because she's always been really healthy and, and almost never sick. And, and, uh, uh, like, the, the aunts on my dad's side of the family, and I think I, I talked about this in earlier videos, uh, that, uh, my dad is the youngest of five kids. And, uh, he's 52 years old. And, uh, the oldest sibling, I think, is 65 or 66. Mid to the mid 60s at least. Uh, and the, the, the aunt, I'm, the, the aunt with cancer is in the middle. And I guess just cause she's been so healthy, uh, she hasn't gotten the proper cancer screenings over the years. So... She, so just one day she, uh, was in so much pain that she had to be taken to the hospital. And then, uh, the doctors found out she had a cracked bone, which was caused by the cancer, which has spread, uh, throughout her body. So she's had it for some time and didn't know it. Uh, and, and so my dad and me are gonna travel back east, uh, next week. Uh, we were planning this trip before we found out about my aunt. Uh, 
uh, we, we were just planning to go see my grandparent, my, my grandfather, uh, who's 91. Oh, almost 91 years old. Uh, yeah. uh, but then we found out about my aunt, so now we're going to go see her while, while we're over there. Then the last I've heard, she's uh, uh, doing a little bit better. Uh, I haven't seen her since uh, probably last year when when I uh, told the family about my diagnosis of autism. I made a video about that. And but and uh, and we'll we'll be back east for a week. And. You know, this this is bad timing because I'm just starting this new job. But fortunately, my boss is really nice. And he, he said we can just work around uh, my, my week off. Really, so, so that's great. I mean, if my aunt hadn't have, uh, gotten cancer or we, we didn't find out about it when we did, then I probably might not have gone back just since uh, I'm just starting this job. But since, since she does have cancer, then I should go back and see her. Yeah, but since I'm going to be gone for a week, uh, I, I probably won't do uh, a video next week. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I, I, I just probably won't be able to, because I'll, I'll be traveling so much, and with everything going on, I, I don't have time. And I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to do these videos with a full-time job. <laughs> so, oh, and also, I mentioned last video, it was my birthday. And uh, I didn't really do anything special for it. I actually had to work on my birthday uh, at the pizza place. But while I was working on my birthday, uh, I got this really bad squeezing pain in my chest, which uh, really freaked me out. I thought it was like having a heart attack or something, because it, it was really bad. But it was it only lasted less than a minute, and I didn't have any other symptoms like uh, 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 weak weakness or shortness of breath. It was just a pain, and I, and I went to the doctors, which uh, I've also been on medicine for bad acid reflux. Uh, for about two months, just uh, one pill a day, and and they they said that the 
chest pain could have been caused by the acid reflux, which seems weird to me because because uh, acid reflux just seems like heartburn, not squeezing. But they they did take some blood and test it and. They said that everything came back normal, so so uh, I I don't know what happened or why it happened, but it hasn't happened again, which is good. And I s still got to take the mess medicine, which had which really has been helping because I, I was getting this sticky feeling in my chest like food was slow to go down and uh burping like that and like m mucus coming back out which i would have to spit out so that all seems to be gone but anyway i mean these my health problem isn't nearly as bad as uh, my aunt's, so I, I'm not complaining. I'm actually getting better. And another cause could be all the smoke from the fires, uh, which might be where that, that plane was going to earlier. Because it, it has been smoky here in Idaho for a little while. But uh, we'll, I'll see how I feel once I get out of Idaho. Uh, for, for now, uh, it's the end of the video. Man. I'm not sure if I should be letting you on my bed because one night she peed on it while she was sleeping and I was sleeping and it just woke up and there was this huge white spot. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. But anyway, uh, so until next video, which will probably be in two weeks. Um, maybe a little more. I'll, I'll have to see, uh, what happens and, and, uh, how, how I feel or, or how, how my schedule is and if I feel like doing a video. So until next video whenever that is goodbye